Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope everybody has a safe and happy New Year's Eve tonight. I can't even believe that we are gonna ring in 2023. And I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited because 2022 was a wild one. But I have some amazing, amazing things to share with you from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I want to just show you these right out the gate because I am so completely thrilled for these watering cans. I am in love with the colors. The watering cans are so beautiful. And with these beautiful little babes right here, I'm actually going to use them as planting pots. I'm gonna find some really, really pretty floral stems from the Dollar Tree once all of my floral stem section is situated. And I am going to make these babies beautiful to walk up my front stairs into my front door. I absolutely love the colors of all four of them. I will show you them individually. How cute is that color? I love it so very, very much. This one, I have to say, is probably my favorite as well as the pink. So there is that one. And then we have this beauty right here. I love the, I just love the shape of it. I love all of it. And that beautiful, beautiful yellow. So like I said, I'm going to wait until all of the floral stems are out. I'm going to weight this down with some rocks in the bottom so that they don't shift around on my stairs on the porch. I'm thinking about getting all white stems, um, floral stems for these so that the colors just really, really pop for springtime. And those will be my front stair entryway. So I got those and I thought that those were absolutely fantastic. I love, love, love the gardening section once they get it all together for the springtime. And those just caught my eye and made me super duper happy. Then I found my gardening gloves. I love so very much when they come out with new patterns every single year. And I think that these two are the prettiest. So of course I wanted this beauty right there. And if you have a lot of people that love to garden, you can make them the cutest gardening basket from Dollar Tree Finds. And these gloves, they're great. I love to just like do my soil, you know, my soiling and my pots and things like that. And to pull up my weeds and roots, they have this great rubbery side you know, to just have some good grip action. And I love the bright, vibrant butterflies all over the purple. So I picked these gardening gloves up and they had so many different ones to choose from. I loved them all, but these were my favorite. And then this one, this one right here is such a beautiful like seafoam green background with those really pretty corally pink looking peachy like, um, flowers all over it with the little accents of purple and the greenery. I think that those are so cute. And again, the rubber is fantastic on them. So when I'm digging up my weeds and stuff, they come up right away. So I love that so much. Then I got these two things because I thought that they were pretty nifty to pair together for a Valentine's Day gift. And these socks are the cutest, but I'm going to show you those in a minute because I found this product right here. And I love the ingredients in it. This is Amy Natural Kind Clear and Calm Exfoliating Face Wash. I loved this with white willow and green tea. I've never heard of anything with white willow in it and I was really intrigued by that. This deeply cleanses, reduces oil, controls shine, dermatologist approved and it's formulated for oily skin including sensitive skin so i thought that was great and this is five fluid ounces i did look this up online and it goes for about three dollars and 49 cents at target so and i love the color of the packaging and i just think with the socks it paired like really cute 
and so these right here are really really nice they're from the juncture brand they're a size five to nine they have the little hearts in there but they have snowflakes too so i thought that these were really really great because you know it's still february winter time when valentine's day comes around and i love that they have all of this blue and white theme to them because right now everything is pink and red so i really love those so very much so i'm going to give this away as like a little pair so there is that then i found this item and i need to replenish my um like hand soap and stuff and i thought that this would be really great for the bathroom counter sink and um this is the soft soap soft rose hand soap and it's 7.5 fluid ounces and it smells really really good so I picked that up and I liked the color of it to put in the bathroom for Valentine's Day. Then I was able to pick these up and I was super excited about these because they're a lavender scent. This is the Good and Clean Disinfectant Wipes and it says it kills the coronavirus, kills 99.9% .9, uh, of bacteria within 15 seconds. There's 30 wipes in here and I do sometimes find these but I've never seen the lavender scented one and I love wipes to wipe over my whole entire car from like top to bottom, all the handles, the shift, my steering wheel, the stereo system, my center console. So I always have wipes on hand in the car and they're scented. So, you know, I absolutely love that. Now, where should we go? Because we have so many places to go and I have so many things that I can't wait to show you. I did have to pick up some more of my um, dish liquid here and these go so fast because I do dishes by hand and I do them multiple times a day. So I did pick up the Palm Olive Apple Pear, which is my favorite in the regular store of like Walmart or even the grocery stores around here. This is roughly about a dollar fifty. So to pick it up for a dollar twenty five at the Dollar Tree is definitely a better deal as well as my Ajax ones. My Ajax ones are roughly about that a dollar fifty price point at the other stores so I always get my dish liquids at the Dollar Tree and I usually love to get all of my Ajax like all the rainbow colored ones at once but I just picked up these two for right now with the palm olive this one right here is the bleach alternative and this is the citrus berry splash and it's 16 fluid ounces I absolutely love, love the smell of it while I'm doing my dishes. This one has the bleach alternative as well. And this one is the citrus pomegranate and it's 16 fluid ounces. So they do have like another size that's a little bit smaller fluid ounces, but I never touch that. I always get the bigger bottles so that they're usually about 16 fluid ounces and there's so many different ones to choose from. And you know, I love that now where should i go let's do something so cute and fun so i am so excited for these signs i am so excited for these signs i am so thrilled for this camper you have no idea this says love you always on it and that beautiful gold glitter i love the banner up here with the hearts on it the way it has like a little awning over the door i just think it's so so pretty love it so much for this little sign and there's the ribbon right there to be able to hang it it's a thin little piece of like you know cardboard wood and it is just beautiful for one of my doors but you can also embellish it into the middle of like a wreath and they come out so cute if you like put that in the middle and then put all flowers and embellishments around it to really enhance the camper I have not made a wreath in so long. I really need to get back to like doing my wreaths and stuff because I used to make them like hand over fist and I haven't in such a long time. So this one as well, I absolutely loved it. There were a ton to choose from, but this one was by far my absolute favorite. I loved the whole entire thing, like start to finish, it, the cuteness is just absolutely unreal. It says happy Valentine's Day. I love that bright, vivid, red, sparkly heart in the back among all of the pink ones. And I love that floral bouquet 
right there in the front with all the pink shimmer and shine and sparkles in it. Really so sweet and dear. And the ribbon again to hang it. There were several different truck styles to choose from that made my heart so happy, but I loved that one the most for sure. Then I found these signs and I'm telling you, I absolutely love these and I can keep them up. So in my bedroom, I have like a gardening type of like greenery and white and like, um, like a seafoam green style to it with just greenery and flowers and things like that displayed. And I can keep these up in my room because it's my husband and I in here and I can keep these up as decoration even past Valentine's Day. So here is the sign. I'm going to try to back up a little bit. And I'm going to show you as much of it as possible. So it says, love the journey. And then there's a beautiful little bicycle down here. And I think it's so incredibly beautiful. I'm going to turn it to the side. Okay, so that's the length of it. But it is so, so pretty. I love the font. I love the sparkle. I love everything about this sign. I love the combination of the white and the pink alternating, you know, with like the wood looking background. And that bike with the flowers in it is so stunningly beautiful. So this entire sign was just the prettiest. And I thought that was such a great new sign to come out. Then this one definitely, definitely is going to go so well with my bedroom. And so this is the whole thing. I'm going to just turn it to the side a little bit. Look at how beautiful that is. It's absolutely beautiful. It says, love you more. And then it says, love going down. So I'll show you really slowly all of the beautiful details to all of the letters. It's just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Wow, that just really made me happy when I saw that. And then this one is just super duper fun. This is a fun time sign. And this is so me. This is wild and loud and crazy and I love it so much. And then there is a gnome. So this is like the gnome hat up here. And how cute is that? It says we, no, what does it say? Oh, it says welcome. It says welcome. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. Okay, it says welcome. So there's the little gnome down there. Is that not the cutest? I love, love, love the cheetah background. That's like just so much fun. Such a good time sign. And it just made me incredibly, incredibly happy. So those are all the signs. I did get five of them. I can't say I'm going to stop myself because they seem to be coming out with some really, really cool and beautiful designs for the signs this year. And I know I already have an abundance of them in my Valentine's decorating like stash in the attic, but I can't say I'm not going to get more and then probably give away a pile of the old ones so I can bring in some no more new. I just love it. It makes me so happy. So now I found these cases. I found these about six months ago and they are so fantastic. They have so much room in them and I plan on doing my jewelry making again and these are perfect for separating my beads. This is the Tool Bench Hardware brand. This is a hardware storage case. So this one is probably one of the best ones I've ever found size wise in the tool bench section and they have so many great compartments to really pile in some of my hardware to make jewelry and my beads and everything else. So I got three of these because Richie could actually use one too for like his little bits and things like that for his um, tools. So I got that again and I love seeing that in the store. But these are by far my favorite storage containers that I'm about to show you that came out I think somewhere like a year, year and a half ago maybe even, and they have come back. They have come back, the flat ones, and then they have bigger ones that are like taller and deeper, but these are the flatter ones, and these are so fantastic. So the storage bins are starting to just get stocked up at the store, 
and the color scheme is going to be like this pink a gray a gray style and then also a green so that's the color of the storage containers that are coming out this year but i feel like this is the color of the storage containers that came out last year too if i can remember correctly so right here this is it and these clips on the side are so perfect these are what have completely stocked my whole entire craft room so well is these flat ones and then the other style that comes out in the deeper container but has this type of look to it so i'm so happy to have found three more and been able to get all the different colors and then did you hear that it just snaps so perfectly right into place and then the handle you just grab it and you bring it wherever you need it to go with you so I picked those up. Now, my dear, where should we go? Where should we go? Whatever I'm showing you now, we're going to get through because then at the end, I have a couple of other things to show you and some more adorables from the Dollar Tree to open with you guys. I did get my Reynolds wrap because we are clear running out over here. So I grabbed the aluminum foil. This is the 40 square feet. It's not the best tin foil on the block. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't seem to have a problem with it, and I've been using it forever and a day. So I picked this up, and I needed to put that back in the drawer. And then I found some Q-tips. Yes, I did. And what I always point out to you guys, when I get the Q-tips from there, they usually have, have like the 200 count right next to the 300 so just make sure you always look at like the quantity but I picked up a couple of boxes because these we needed like right away right now the cotton swabs from the assured brand but then I picked these out for February for Valentine's Day because they have like the red sticks and they'll look really cute in my cotton swab container on the on the bathroom sink so I picked up two of those one to save for then grabbed that and then these little paper plates right here just they had my heart i've never seen the size of a little baby pl paper plate ever at the dollar tree so this is nature's own green label paper plates in their six inches and so i just thought i could craft on these i could use them as like paint palettes when i'm painting or something like that whatever it is there's a decent amount in here there's 50 count and we used to always like craft on paper plates when I was growing up. We would use these to draw on, collage on, cut things out, make um, fish tanks out of them. Uh, and, you know, and cut out little fish and stuff like that and put them in the fish tank. We used to do that all the time as a kid. So I just, something about these needed to come home with me. So I grabbed them and they're going to go in my... Um, craft room until I decide exactly what I'm doing with them so there's that now where am I going with this I found this great toy right here and I absolutely loved this for my little cousin Murphy to put in his basket this is the Hot Wheels brand so I thought that was really awesome this is the Disney Pixar Lightyear base unit vehicle so that is so so cool it's a Pixar Disney vehicle from Hot Wheels. So I think he's really, really, really going to love that. And I think it's just a nice, a nice little thing. They did have um, like a jet looking thing. They had a couple of other ones to choose from in those bigger packages of Hot Wheels. And I thought that was pretty neat. Murphy's going to get a kick out of it and think it's pretty fancy. I picked up some beautiful, beautiful Valentine's Day cards and they were just putting them out. So I'm so happy to have been able to pick them up right at the beginning because we usually get like, you know, a stash and then everybody comes and they take them so quickly. So I love, love the ones that come out on that like separate cardboard stand. They're usually toward like the front of my Dollar Trees and these are the ones that are like in a package they have this little cellophane wrap over them they come with the card inside and these are one dollar so i picked this one out right here it says i love you to the moon and back 
And that is one of my favorite things to say to all of the people that I love the most in the whole wide world. So I picked that out. And then inside with the red envelope inside. So I grabbed that and I'm actually just going to frame that for Valentine's Day decorating because I think it's just too cute. Probably get like a 5 by 7 frame or I could even get like an 8 by 10 and scrapbook like around it and put that in the middle. So that's what I might do because I definitely want to get in back into like scrapbooking. Then I picked out some other 50 cent cards. These are each 50 cents a piece and the card section is always my favorite. It's such a great deal for that 50 cents to grab these. This is a really, really cute card. It is from the Heartline Hallmark Company. So it came with the red envelope and then it says you're sweeter than candy. You're sweeter than honey. I love you so much, it's not even funny. Happy Valentine's Day. So that is what that card looks like and I think it is just perfect. So, so cute. And then this one right here that comes with the red envelope. I was gonna buy you a Valentine's Day card that would make you laugh your butt off. <laughs> so there's that. And then inside it says, but I like your butt right where it is. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> so that's really, really cute. And then we have this one right here. Blessings of the heart. Um, blessings of the happy heart kind. And then inside it says, wishing you a day that reminds you moment by moment, without a doubt, you're wonderfully loved. Happy Valentine's Day. Nothing now, nothing in the future, nothing in the whole world will ever, will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So that is what that says. And that is a beautiful, beautiful card to have on hand. And then last but not least, here is this cutie patootie right there with the red envelope. This one says, friends don't let friends eat the whole box of chocolates. So, <laughs> that's so cute. And it says, well, at least not alone. Happy Valentine's Day. So, I grabbed that card as well. And I thought that that was the coolest and cutest thing ever. I love to have cards in my stash. I decorate with them and I also give them out for all the different holidays and occasions. And the Dollar Tree is the only place you will ever see me picking up cards ever, 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 because they're such a great price. So now last but not least, and then this will bring me into something that I crafted and created that I cannot wait to show you. This is my last but not least item. I went back and I picked up another bag of these 10 pieces of party favors. I thought that these were so unbelievable that there were 10 in here these little poppers that are so incredibly like popular right now it's not even funny how popular these are but there's 10 of them in there for a dollar 25 that's really really an amazing price for this so these are like those little rubbery pieces and so they're like marbleized between like red red and white hearts and then i made a bunch of keychains so that i can go to craft fairs this upcoming year they don't have to be for valentine's day you can kind of just sell these for whenever and i made a bunch of keychains so i did put them in the little pouches that came from the dollar tree these are in the party section and this is what i'm gonna gift them oh not gift them away in but when i do a craft fair this year this is how I'm going to sell them in these little bags. And so this is one of the keychains that I made with the heart attached. So this is how this one came out. I will just show you a couple. I won't keep you for a long time. And then I made this one right here. So I love them. I had so much fun making them with my beads that I normally make jewelry with and stuff but I, I just had a blast. I had an absolute blast. And I went to Walmart and I got the little key rings in a package for $5. And I think that there was 40 of the key rings, but all the other things on here, the beads and the hook and everything like that, I already had in my jewelry stash. And when I do buy my jewelry stuff, 
I usually go to Hobby Lobby and wait for the jewelry items to be on sale. Um, like their 50% off price every other week. I just check the flyer for the day. But I haven't had to go to Hobby Lobby in like a bajillion years because I already have so much on hand. And then here is this one right here. I just wanted to show you this one last but not least. So this is how they came out. And I made, I already made 25 keychains. I'm only selling them for like $4.50. And I'm going to put them all out at a craft fair and sell them. So I just had so much fun making them. But this, it, 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 it's so fun and so easy. So it's just a good time. And I loved those hearts. Those hearts really did amazing things for me. So I can't wait to make 10 more keychains with those hearts. So that is it. Happy, happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul, everyone. I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful, happy new year and that you go into 2023 like a million bucks. Now, before you leave me, I don't know if you want to stay or not, but let me say my goodbyes just in case and say hi to everybody that's new here. If you are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and it is my happy place, and I love you guys to the moon and the stars and the sky, and thank Thank you for being a part of my life, my days, my weeks, and my journey here. So now I'm about to open up five of the blind bags from the Disney Dorables. We've been doing this. This is the third day now from the box that my husband ordered from online at the Dollar Tree store. He ordered a box of 48 Dorables for my Christmas present because I'm collecting the Disney Dorables. And so this is another five from the box and this is the third day of doing it. I've done one at at the end of every haul two hauls ago I started now this is day three so I already sliced off the top just like I did the last time so we can get in there faster and so we are about to get into it I got Pearl I got Pearl from Finding Nemo and she is just cute as a button and I love her so much okay now oh we got Ducky. We got Ducky from Woody and Buzz from Toy Story. So I got Ducky. He is just so cute. Then let's see who's in this package right here. We have Minnie Mouse. We have Minnie. And look at her all in pink styling. That little princess girl. She looks so fancy and very Valentine's Day with her pink outfit. So she's cute as cute can be. Then we have this one right here. And I'm going to stick my little mitt in there. And let's see. Oh, we got Raja from Jasmine and Aladdin. Oh, he's so fancy. I love him. He's the coolest ever. And then last but not least, we're on bag number five. We do five every video until the box is empty. And then inside, we have Flounder. We have that cute little, that little bug, that little cute fishy. Flounder from my favorite girl in the whole wide world. Ariel from My Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. I said My Little Mermaid because I think she really is like mine. <laughs> so there's Flounder and he is just cute as a button. So that is my five for today. And now, now the end of the end, the grand finale is I love you guys so much. And I have not even had two seconds to figure this out, but Every single milestone that we've hit since I started my channel, we have um, done a giveaway every single hundred mark. And your girl over here has had an overwhelming year and especially like an overwhelming last three months of this year. So we have not done um, the milestone for the 2,200 that was hit. And now we've hit 2,300 plus. 
So we've hit two milestones and I have not been able for the first time to announce a giveaway. So right now at this moment, I am announcing a giveaway for the 2,200 and the 2,300 milestones. So we're going to do two winners and they're going to be $10 gift cards each from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to do pick two names when I draw the names next week on Saturday at like six or seven in the evening, I will post a video to announce the two winners for these two separate giveaways, but I'm announcing it right here, right now. And this is the video that you will comment down below on to let me know you want to enter. All that I ask is that you guys are subscribed. You like my videos when you watch them and you comment down below because those are so incredibly important for the growth of anyone's channel. And it also helps us reach other people that we can pull into our community to offer them happiness and positivity and you know just our little village and our family that we have here that means so much to so many of us and especially to me. So if you would do that for me, subscribe, like, and comment on the videos when you watch them. It just takes a few seconds to do those three things. And um, then down on this video right here in the comment section, if you are willing to um, enter this giveaway, I am um, going to ask you to leave in the box down below. You are going to either leave the emoji that says fire. Uh, the emoji that looks like fireworks or you're gonna put hashtag which is the pound sign and then you are gonna write out the word fireworks right next to the pound sign so you're gonna put the pound sign write fireworks because that will highlight it blue for me so that I can pull it out of the comment to see that you're entering to try to win one of the gift cards for ten dollars and um, if you have the emoji, like I said, just leave an emoji in the comment section down below somewhere within your comment so that I can see the emoji and know that you are entering to win. And I will draw two different names next Saturday in the evening. I will post a completely separate video other than the haul in the evening time to announce the two winners and each one will win a $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree. I really want to make sure I'm getting that across. And so thank you guys so much for being here with me. I am so completely happy, grateful, and overjoyed that you are a part of any part of my day. Even whatever moment you stop to click on my video and be here with me, I am just I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm blessed and I love you all so much. So that is it. I'm going to head out with my husband. We have some things to do tonight. I got all gussied up and I'm ready to start the new year myself. I love you and I hope you have a safe, blessed one. And I will see you guys on happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall. I love all your faces. Bye guys.